Good afternoon, Internet. I'm your host, HazelPlace89, and welcome back to City Skylines 2. We're in the city of Blackshire once again, and I'm super excited today to get back into it um, because we're using the official Paradox mods today. So that's delightful. I'm excited. I can't wait. We're going to have a good time. And I... Yeah. So let's just dive right into it. So, as you can see, down here in our demand, we have quite a bit of demand. And so, kind of want to think about a few things before we get started. I would like to work on expansion to this area today. So as you can see, it's this little square right here. And I am excited about the prospect of adding new zoning types. That's right. We have, and as well as new mods, we also have waterfront housing, which is which is incredibly exciting. So we have North American, and then we also have European style waterfront housing. And people are a little salty about there not being beaches in the game, which I guess is understandable. Um, but either way, I'm excited that we have this content. I'm excited that we have mods now. Um, I believe we even have Move It. So that's fun. Um, I, I just, I'm just happy. I'm, I, I know that people aren't <laughs> people have their opinions about things right but I'm, I'm going to err on the side of positivity and so what that means is let's come over here we're gonna just continue zoning out this little area we're gonna make that a time lapse and I will get right back with you Alright, so I've got that all filled in, and that should help uh, fill things out. That's fun. We do have a fair amount of industrial demand, and I kind of want to address that as well. So let's check the way that our wind is blowing. I think we can go here, maybe. So if we come here, yeah, okay, we can see the direction our wind is blowing, which is blowing... The opposite direction so let's just say that that the wind is blowing in a southerly direction that seems that seems uh acceptable well, what we could do i like the idea of maybe getting a few smaller industrial sites behind our garbage complex like something like that just so we can kind of satiate the demand that we have like so and then i suppose we could also do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, like that. All right. And they are wanting commercial. We have this whole, we have a whole like stretch. Okay, what are your issues, my friends? Because I think this is like the primary way people are trying to get to the uh industrial area so let's see what we can do for these folks these fine fine people i like the idea of getting some uh there we are so we're gonna have a dedicated turning lane on that and that'll kind of make everything <laughs> jiggly a little bit but that's okay what I don't want to do. Let's turn off all of those. Oh, oh, there we are. I want to make this a little prettier. Because I don't anticipate zoning on this necessarily. But I want it to look decent. Alright, we'll put that there. We'll put you... 
There, there we go. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Meh, that'll work. I think maybe we ought to kind of upgrade this road as well. Maybe get a uh, an asymmetrical road. Let's turn all you back on. There. And then we will just kind of scooch all of this down. I think that should be fine. Alright. Kind of repair that just a hair. And there we go. And hopefully this will help resolve some of these issues that we're having. So we have a turning lane on either side. And then we have just a through lane. I do wish that I could kind of expand this on this just a little bit. But the way that I have it set up, I think it'll be fine. It, it's fine. It is what it is. But yeah, so we have all that over there zoned in. We have that traffic issue sorted. We still are wanting for industrial. But let's check our production chains like we were doing last week. We can see what we need. Um, we still need wheat. We still need carrots. Um, I would like to get ahead on cotton as well. But I think we're about tapped out for farming area over here. If we do any farming, it would probably be more livestock and whatnot. But I think we could fit a couple little farms over here. So let's just double check one more time because I have the shortest memory span. Really, we want for carrots and we want for wheat, grain, grain and vegetables. So let's get a grain farm. I'm going to put you... Put it there. And then we're going to put a carrot farm... Right. Oh. All right. And so now that we have that, let's come here. And we will do this. We're gonna do this. All right. Put you here. Spread that out. Going to put you like there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little something, something. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I've noticed. Oh, that's fun. The uh, color is a slightly different shade of green or green adjacent <laughs> than, than the other farms. That's pretty neat. That must be a new thing. Okay. So there's that. What we can do now is we can come back over here and kind of work on getting this one as well. So I want to just push this up all the way through and have that coming off at a nice angle there. Let's try to get it 90 degrees. Yeah, that'll work. That there. And we can't do that yet. So here's what we'll do. That'll work. All right, so now let's Squeeze you all the way over here. Maybe that. Put you here. All right. There's that. Here we go. I think maybe we could scoot this over just a hair. Scooch. Oh, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So we have that all sorted for now. I think what we might could do. Let's check our industrial view or info view. Check out and see. That's not the right one. Natural resources. Natural resources. All right. That's fun. All right. I think we're going to, I think we're set reasonably for now. Um, let's try to work on kind of establish or addressing our commercial as well. If I can find the right button. Let's come here. We will do that. We will do that. And I think uh, we don't have enough residential demand for split um, ooh, mixed use. And as we bask in the glory of our city for a minute, I'm going to grab a sip of coffee. But yes, I am pleased 
so far with City Skylines 2, I'm having a good time. I don't know what I could do. I'm going to add a road right here. Yeah, let's come out this way. Just a touch. I'm going to turn off guidelines. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to go from this direction. There we are. And then we will just keep straight there. All right. So now we have a little like auxiliary road if you want to go that way you can totally go that way but while we're here i think it's a fine opportunity to sploosh down some fun little industrial zoning patterns i think that's what we'll do we'll do we'll do something like that do we have office we have offices but we don't have office demand which is totally okay totally fine check our happiness rating a little bit unreliable internet service i get it i understand but it's not something that we really can address right now because we don't have that um have that. so all right but what we can do is continue industrial stuff because i will admit i feel like i have fallen off on the industrial which is um my bad. Whoopsies, whoopsie daisies. You know, you know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta hit them with the whoopsie daisies and try better next time. I mean, obviously not as nonchalant if it's like something kind of important, but you know what I mean. Ad address the uh, mistake, address the mishap, and and move on. That's what we gotta do. That's the uh, that is the way. Is that a fence? That is a fence. Or it's a hedge, so I can't actually put something right there. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. We'll do that instead. All right. All of these people and their little happiness and stuff, which is great. I think what we could do, we can also continue addressing commercial. But it's kind of silly because I feel like it's commercial. I feel like is a little bit out of whack, in my opinion. It could be working totally fine. I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, a lack of customers, but there's also a demand for commercial. Why would we want more commercial if there's not enough customers to buy products from our existing commercial infrastructure? You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense to me. But that being said, this looks like a fine candidate for a rule of commercial. Bloop. So, so that's that. <laughs> I think we could also add a little bit here. I think this will be fine. I'm not sure if we will actually get to uh, the new uh, zoning type today because I want to like have it. I want it. I want to use the new zoning type. I want to use waterfront housing. To like build a residential aspect of a new like new area of the map, honestly, that's what I that's what I'd like to do. If I can be afforded to do such things, then I totes totes will. Why are you complaining? That doesn't make any sense. All right, we'll just rezone. Perfect, fixed it. How about that? See, there's no need to get angry. Our population's increasing, but our money's still going down. So I need to figure out how to get that to not be a thing. Because <laughs> the like, honestly, the last thing I want to do is go bankrupt on my first city skylines to city. We could expand our industrial area too. Let's do that. Let's bring it all the way up here. So. We're going to bring it all the way right all. Yes. Perfect. It encompasses everything. Um, well, I like the let's let's kind of get this situated as well. I want this to be part of that same district that we had going that away. 
So this whole this whole thing will be its own district. Um, I think what we'll end up doing is oh, this would be a fun idea. What we'll end up doing is kind of stopping that district from expanding too too much. But we'll get there when we get there. I like the idea of adding some commercial along here as well. Not quite waterfront property, but I think it gets the job done. So there's that. So we have we have that going for us. Do we can do we have the opportunity, I wonder, to um I think we could. What we could do, um believe I believe what we could do is situate our industry and kind of have a nice complex for that over here so let's do that we're gonna make we're gonna come down like this we're gonna come this way we're gonna use you and scoot that right there and put you in this and I think let's just have a few gaps like so. Uh -oh. Oops. One, two. Like that. Uh, and then we'll just kind of put a road here because I want it to look interesting, not totally, totally rigid. But what we're going to do is I'm going to just kind of kind of build out our industrial over this way just to here so we can get people using raw material and I think what I may even do is while we're over here let's kind of expand our mining operation well let's let's do that um, we're going to remove those roads and we're gonna take stone into the mines. I'm gonna put it. Oh, oh, okay. This works. Um, coal mining, ore deposits, ore mining. I'm gonna put. This is really large, but I mean, I guess that's to be expected. I'm gonna put one right here, and then I'm gonna put another. On a funky little angle because why not? And then we're gonna put that right there. And then we're going to do a little bit of this. Excuse me. Expand it. I'm not gonna take this all the way through the road like we do at the farm sometime. Yeah, look at this. Who would have thought? Not me. Just trying to keep it about one unit away from stuff. Not for any other reason than just some arbitrary guideline that I've set myself just now. So, what do we have? We have 140% efficiency on this bad boy. I kind of like the idea of maybe doing that. So, and I think that's good. Let's come here and do the same thing with this bad boy. One unit away from all of this facility. Right. I may have hamstrung myself just a little bit with the first mine that we placed down, but honestly, I think that'll be okay. And I want to cover as much as the mineral rich deposit area as I, as I can. Like deep blue here is what I'm going for. Deep blue. All right. Put you here. Put you here. Actually, that's gross. We're not going to do that. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little road. Not like so. 
we're gonna put that straight across and I'm gonna take uh, and do that because uh, swiggity swaggins I can do what I want <laughs> um it's not the most like realistic situation going on here where it's just like in the middle of you know at the entrance of the city right next to a bunch of residential now that I'm looking at it I don't think that these people would be all too happy about that um, that's an oversight on my part honestly but you know what can you do oh look fire oh no oh no oh fire department's dispatched we are good no need to worry about that okay so I mean it's it's a matter of me figuring out how to get money coming into the city again and I think the plan what we could do you get um where's our geothermal we could get a geothermal and start exporting power but that costs money we don't have um we could even get one of these bad boys a small coal power plant and put it somewhere But anyway, yeah, we're bleeding money. I don't know why we're bleeding money. It doesn't make sense to me, but we are. Um, let's kind of put out a little bit more looty boys here. It'll be fine. It's fine. What's the worst the little smog has ever done? That's a joke. I know smog is not the greatest. Uh, it's not good. So there's that. Oh, but all, all, all of our uh, that stuff is is nice, so that's fun. Oh, we actually have points we can use to live on. But I'm gonna wait for that. Going to wait. All of our commercial or zoning that we put in earlier is coming now. So let's, because I had to pause for a little bit to make sure that these came in because I didn't want ugly shapes. They're going to go back to our three by three zoning pattern. Do that and do that. And you know what? YOLO. Let's do that. All right. So we have that in, so that's fun. I think we'll end up probably making this kind of like a center for this little area here. I also don't want to neglect this area. Um, this whole northern area up here that would not be good so I mean I mean really there's not too much that we can really do at the moment our money situation is in a bad place but okay it looks like we're making money again so that's nice Let's see what we've got going on here oh delightful we're at a, we're at a deficit for our <coughs> gems and whatnot metal work is there something we want to address? There's a lot of stuff we want to address. I feel like we're making a ton of, like we're producing a ton of grain, but we're also in a small deficit. We also are in a, we're getting into deficit for vegetables, as you can see here. Um, and our coal is fine. We just set that down for just, just cause. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the situation that we're in. We need to be mindful that we're not bleeding money. And it looks like we're slowly getting our way back up to that. Uh, we're, we're heading back to the green is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Which is great. Because that's where we want to be. I don't want to be no silly, silly, no money having silly boy. I want money. Money, money is important. Um, it helps pay for things like, like food and comic books and um, stuff so there's that I also want to explore the mods more in depth if at some point I think that would be a good idea is this a two lane this is a two lane I think I like the idea of expanding this to a four lane but I wonder 
if that would cause issues. I don't know where to find out. Hazard would not cause issues. But it doesn't make sense, because really, I don't want this to be a main thoroughfare. But it looks like it might be a main thoroughfare. Hmm. I think maybe I like the idea of having a, like a, an intersection here. Kind of curls back, but I feel like we could do something fun with that. Maybe. Murder. Murder, murder, murder. Whoa. Oh. Lack of high school labor. Oh no. What does our education system look like? Uh, college, university. Everything's fine. We could probably do with another elementary school. And I think that's something we want to address here. Let's kind of... What is this? The dairy house. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to place a street, a road, as it were. Right? Right hall. I'm going to place a road. Like so. And then we're going to place another road. Like so. And we're going to kind of cut the ends off just for now. I'm going to do that. I have some connectivity. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to kind of turn this into like the central area for city services. Fire department. Um, police station, etc. etc. But on this. Oh, oh boy. On this. We're going to make school. Tell you what. It's going to be great. Delightful. Kids are going to love it. Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to do... I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. That's that's right. We're going to abandon the original plan, and we're going to put this here instead. You know. You know, homie don't play. All right. So we're going to add... Can we add a playground? We can... Look at this. Look at us. Who would have thought? We're going to add a playground here. Have a school facing okay yeah so like on a realistic standpoint i imagine that the school would be looking towards the uh main road behind it but it's my party and i'll do what i want <laughs> like respectfully of course respectfully. i lost my uh surface painter mod switching over to paradox mod so hopefully we'll get that added soon so I can't do funny things, but I'm pretty sure that if we go to our landscaping, go to our vegetation, our tree brush works again. So that's fun. So what we can do, we're going to add, uh, we're going to get a line, I think. Actually, no, let's not get a line. We're going to just get, dude, can we get a brush? Face more. Oh, that's really big. We're going to drop you down about here and kind of just kind of spray, spray. That is a very strong brush. Um, That's fine. I think I may have overdone it just a touch. So we're going to just come through and kind of thin out it's just a hair. I wish I could add fences, but we don't have that yet. But that's okay. Oh, also, we have new trees, pretty sure. So we go here. Yeah, look at that. We have coconut palm trees, Florida palm trees, a hey, royal palm trees, Sylvester palm trees. You know, in case you need to go box somebody like Sylvester Stallone. I'm sorry. That was bad. That was that was that was bad. OK. So that's fun. So there's that. What we could do. Let's check our average fire hazard area. Um, is there a fire station close by? Do we have, we have two fire stations over there. I want to add a fire station here. And I want to add a police station. 
uh, nowhere because it doesn't fit. I don't know. We'll just add it right here. Okay. That's there. Basic services are down. I think our medical is fine. Yeah, our medical's totally fine. And now we have thirty-four thousand dollars. We are bleeding money. Um. Bum bum bum. Let's add this here. And I think what we can do is just add a little more over on this way. So there's that. Um, we are not making money. In fact, we're experiencing the opposite of making money. So that's not a traffic jam. That's just the way that the world turns. So that'll be fine. So as you can see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come here. We're going to go to our hide UI button. Overall, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with the way that things are going. All things considered. So, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me on yet another Scatterbrained All Over the Place episode of City Skylines 2. Thank you for liking, for subscribing, for commenting. Appreciate your viewership, and I'll see you all next week. Have a good uh, weekend, week, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.